What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. You saw them in the thumbnail. I've been meaning to do these for days. I've literally had these for days. We had to evacuate for a hurricane. so And I took them with me. I just didn't have the time. I wanted to film the video while I was in Louisiana. Just didn't shake out that way. We got the Lucid Lime AE1 Lows. I've bought every single color that is released of the AE1 Low because it's like my favorite shoe. Basically, I love it. I do prefer it to the mid. All the colors are bright except for like the, the MX um grays that were kind of all over the place that i just think is the best ones of the bunch but so far i've enjoyed all of them i've grabbed all of them we're going to take an overview and check these out together these are bright green let's kick it So, Anthony Edwards logo, the typical, typical slide-out box. That is the inner portion of the box that you can see the slits through. Don't follow the wave, established in 2020. 2001 in Georgia. AE1 low in my typical size, 8.5 Lucid Lime, I don't know, and something black. It's these weird codes for everything, but oh, look at that green. Let's grab one, shall we? So this one has the tag. Let me clip the tag off of it real quick. And we'll take a look at the left shoe. Here we have it. Bright like sour apple green. Or lime green. Lucid lime, right? Has the matching translucent outsole. You can see the quick strike is actually painted lime green as well. Some of that quick strike foam. Or is that the boost? That might be the boost foam itself. And the black is the is the um, light strike. I don't know why I say quick strike. The light strike, but I like them. The mir reminds me of the murals, that kind of bright hyper pink kind of color. So there is breathability and ventilation right under here in this section. This is like a rubberized compound. These kind of remind me of a foam posit in some ways, the way they fit. Uh, you can actually see some of the light strike foam right here. Come around on the back, three stripes logo in that lucid lime we got the light boost sticking out right here and then I love the way these are laced versus the mid it actually makes sense because the lacing goes all the way down the low top angle of these is superior to the mid lucid lime Anthony Edwards logo does have that neoprene booty style very thick padding going around the collar in the Achilles area and this heel cup is Got a carbon fiber look to it but it's like a thick tpu but this is like some serious heel support for this heel counter i've seen people talk about they get a bit of heel slippage but i don't you know i don't hoop in them so i you know doesn't affect me personally but i could see where that would be very irritating let me attempt to get this uh insole out because it seems like it's fit in there perfectly for me to not get it out jeez yeah, it's like an absolute nightmare to try to get this out. I'm determined, though. Here we go. Got it. So all that for a basic cheap insole, but at least they switched it up to where they have the green on the print now. Because the soft liner does have a cool print to it, but it's just this basic cheap foam. with these. I mean, it's nothingness. It doesn't matter. What matters is down in that strobe, you see that light boost pod. You see the little circle, but the larger circle is the actual pod of foam. Then you, the lime green, you have the light strike, and I don't know if you'll be able to see further up. You see that different color of white. That's the light boost. And it actually has this ripple to it. Very interesting. Almost like it's articulated in some ways. And then you should be able to see the light coming through in certain spots. I think it's better from this side. You can see the ventilation spots right there with the light coming through. So they do breathe very well. They do fit true to size if you have a narrow foot. I would recommend going up half a size. Personally, uh, I do have the Indigos, which was the navy blue and red 
uh, Team USA ones that released, and I was able to grab those a half size up and a size nine, and they do fit fine. They're a little bit longer in the toe, but width-wise, they're fine for me. Eight and a half is my true size. They do have a more true one-to-one -one fit to my foot. The, one of the reasons I love this shoe so much is it fits my foot so well at my true size. They look great with joggers. I love that the upper portion in the color blocking is always black, because with black joggers, these look great. Um, casually, that's what I rock them for. I literally, I might end up buying every single low top color they drop. They're 110 retail. They're an absolute steal at that price point for the actual product that you get in hand. It's crazy to think that you can get this for 110, the mids for 120. That's why I've damn near been buying almost every color as of late, especially with the low. I got a few colors, Stormtroopers, MX Charcoals of the mids. I don't want every color of the mid. But the low, I kind of want every color, hence why I grabbed this. I love the toe down view. You don't have the 3M hit on the toe this time, like on the Stormtroopers have that gray 3M hit, for example. Um, it's a great toe down view. They're great to train in. They don't have, uh, they have a good bit of stability and there's not so much compression that like if you want to do a leg day with these, as long as you're not doing... Like I wouldn't deadlift in these, you know what I mean? Like that that's you don't want to do that. But as far as like doing hack squat machines and leg presses and stuff like that, totally fine to work a leg day with this, do calf raises, all that good stuff. Hell, you could really squat in them if you want to, depending on the squat. There's variations to squats, so it depends on what you do. But you can get away with it, because that's what I do. I rock them to the gym. I rock them casually, I wear them to the gym. I'm gonna wear them to the gym today, but today's shoulders, arms, and abs, so it's irrelevant. But yep, love them. Thanks for checking out this overview with me. I haven't put them on feet yet. I can't wait to. So you've seen them on my feet already. I haven't. Uh, so thank you guys for watching. Make sure to like, subscribe, and turn on all notifications before you leave. We're dropping shoe content on a regular basis here on this channel. Catch you guys in the next one. I'm so tired.